Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or volunteer will present an object from the museum's permanent collection and pose questions for discussion. Please check back each day at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new conversation. Hi, I'm Susan, a docent at the museum, and today I'd like to present a work by the American artist Donald Sultan. Spoiler alert, this work isn't currently on display in the galleries. I'll share the title after I describe the painting. The painting is four feet wide and eight feet tall. Towering orange and black abstract towers dominate the foreground. The color's contrast is enhanced further by the medium. The black is painted in tar. If you look closely, you might be able to make out the sparkle in this photo. You can certainly imagine it. A charred landscape is visible between the flames and in the background. The colors are more subdued browns and grays. There's a lovely area of blue in the upper left corner with some wispy white patches. What you can't see but must imagine is the texture in the painting. The artist is working with oil, watercolor, tar, and plaster, industrial materials, as well as paint, and we haven't even touched on how he uses these materials. Instead of canvas, Sultan used vinyl tiles glued to masonite, a type of engineered wood, and then covered that with tar. His unique canvas primed, he then draws, scrapes, cuts, plasters, and paints to create a very textural work. The title is Forest Fire. Seems obvious now, doesn't it? We could stand in front of it and imagine being at the scene. If we were this close, we would feel the heat and hear the roar of the fire. When I first glanced at this work, however, it took me a minute to figure out what it was. It's not what I would call realistic. Donald Sultan studied art at both the University of North Carolina and the Art Institute of Chicago when many artists were doing abstract work. He also describes his work of as abstract, but he tells us he desired to put imagery back into abstract painting. The term new image was coined to describe his and others' work. It was also while he was a student that he began experimenting with technique, surface, and material. His early work included many industrial and urban subjects and was at times inspired by disastrous events like forest and warehouse fires, airplane crashes, and train derailments. Over his long career, he has moved to images of the natural world and other objects. Among his works are many paintings of fruits, flowers, buttons, and lanterns, often combined in fun ways, still utilizing his unique medium. Have some questions about this artist and his work? Me too. <laughs> Why did his images change so drastically? What style of his do you prefer? What inspired him to pick such unique materials? Can you think of something different to paint with? FYI, babies have been known to paint with colored mashed potatoes here at the art museum.